Well, I would tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another segment of Why You're Wrong with Greg Dietz. Hey, guys. So my throat's a little uh, dry because of the uh, cold that I have. So if I, like, pause, take a drink of water, you know why, which I'm going to do right now. So as you heard in the last segment, a lot of people take what they see on a, on a, on a conference demo as the gospel for what the game will, the final game will be. I see these videos on YouTube occasionally that are like the difference of what the game looks like at release versus what it looked like three years ago when they showed it for the first time when it was like two years in development. This bothers the shit out of me because you don't know what goes into game development if you are making that comparison. That, what you saw, was a scripted and animated video to give you an idea of what they want for the final game. Not what the final game will be. You are, you are, every time you do this, you are taking what you see as the final product. When literally, they usually start with, this is not a representative of the final product. Nine times out of ten, this stuff is changed. <clears throat> and it needs to be changed. Whether it needs to be scaled down, whether it's a situation where it just it has to look different because of, of quality issues. You can't expect every demo that you see on that stage to be what the final game will look like. Especially when it's not a person playing the game. When you, when you do this sort of thing, you put a lot of pressure on people trying to make these games. You are that guy, like, you know how you had that, you had that job, right? You had that one job where your boss constantly handed you. You thought, you, you know, you worked your ass off, you did a good job, and at the end of the day, you were like, man, I'm exhausted, I did a really good job. And then the boss goes, no, you didn't, here's a bunch of shit you didn't do. Not appreciative of the stuff you did good. That's what you're being. At the end of the day, you are being that boss to these de game developers. And you're okay with it because you don't see them face to face. You just play the final product. It's fucked up. It's completely fucked up. This is why I hate people like Angry Joe and Jimquisition. Because they don't care. They care about their pockets. And as long as they can shove someone else down the garbage chute for their opinion and their, their videos, they'll do it. And it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. I hate the term uh, lazy dev. There's no such thing as a lazy dev, especially not at a AAA studio. Especially not at a AAA studio. If you think that devs are lazy, if you think that there's a problem in this field, then get into the field. Because I promise you, your opinion will change significantly. Or for at least, for fuck's sake, listen to a goddamn game dev. Someone who actually codes and programs things. Not like a tester. Not someone sitting behind a desk creating the story. Like to the people who are actually programming the shit that you get to play. You know, somebody goes, oh, this is a new thing. This is a new problem. No, it's not. Do you remember before Sunshine came out? Before Sunshine came out, the game was called Mario 127. And the idea of the game that they were going to release was that you make copies of Mario. And that it was supposed to withstand a lot. And they had a few de uh, tech demos of Mario 127. Or, I'm sorry, 128. My bad, 128. <clears throat> 64 doubled is the thing. <clears throat> Guess what happened? That didn't come out. Sunshine did. So it's not a new thing. Not by a long shot. So this E3, this upcoming 2019, if you're listening to this podcast and you listen to me do this show, whether it's on YouTube, whether you're my friend, if you're watching E3 2019, and you see a game that they announced for the first time, 
and it looks gorgeous. Scale your expectations back about 10 times. Because that's usually what the game will look like when it comes out. And that's not on game devs. That's just on the state of how things are. Don't take everything you see at E3 with the utmost 100% certainty that that's what it's going to look like. I guarantee you that trailer that we saw last year at PS4 or the play, the Sony demo for Psycho or CCACO, whatever the fucking the Samurai game is, I guarantee you the final game will look different. Guarantee you. So don't don't compare stage demo to the final release. Because when you do that, that's why you're wrong.